Which you guys, today we're taking a look at the fake Windows 11 government edition that you may see on the internet. Now there was a Windows 10 China government edition announced on Microsoft's website, but this is nothing to do with the latest uh, spurt of information that you can find on the internet. People are recommending that you download this Windows 11 government edition. It's already on peer-to-peer -peer sites where you can download this. I wouldn't advise doing it because a lot of this stuff is piracy at the end of the day, uh, and I will talk about it more in this video. So first off, if you're looking for a super lightweight version of Windows 11 and someone is talking about the Windows 11 government edition, then don't fall for it because this is literally a fake version that has been heavily modded by someone and uploaded on the internet. Now, there is also scripts out there that will do a lot of stuff uh, to the ISO as well. And there's also video content showing you how to do that. Don't follow those guides. They are not legit ways of doing things. One, you're going to be in breach of uh, Microsoft's terms of service. And two, you are going to end up probably getting yourself infected. You can see this is a screenshot of a version, which obviously is in Russian. And this is what it looks like. It's been heavily uh, modded as I've said and removed a lot of the key components that Microsoft have in there they are not going to remove all of this stuff and allow you to use a version of Windows like that so this is obviously a fake version of Windows 11 that is floating around on the internet Andy Kirby has also made a post on Twitter about it and you can read all about that I'll leave a link in the video description for you he just shows some screenshots and also talks about uh, the hardware regulations that have been removed and also talks about other things like KMS activation because this is already pre-activated, which is obviously not something you want to download and install on your main computer. Again, I was going to uh, get the ISO to show you, but again, I don't think that would be a very good thing to do. It has no Microsoft apps, no Microsoft Edge, store is not included no Windows Defender, and also there's other IT uh, sites like this one, uh, this German fella in uh, Germany there that has made a post about this Windows 11 government edition, stripped down version to the max and what's behind it, and he goes all into detail on his blog there. I'll try and leave a link for that also in the video description. Uh, you will have to translate the page because obviously it is in German, unless you speak fluent German. And again, this is all about the trust part of things, whether you trust someone like this. Now, there is also a video where someone has created a video showing you how to create it yourself. I wouldn't advise following that advice because obviously this is um, not a good way of doing things. You have no clue of where these scripts are coming from. This is obviously a Russian website right here. Shows you what you can get if you download it and they offer a download link. Again, I'm not leaving a link in the video description for that particular site. But I'm just showing you exactly what is out there on the internet. So be careful because over the next few days, you're going to probably see a ton of videos being made on this particular topic and people offering download links. This is a bit of code that is in the actual script that shows you uh, the activation. So they are using an illegal way to activate this version of Windows with this particular download. So it's not advisable. Now, what is advisable is to use the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC or the Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version, which uh, Microsoft offer. And you can download it. You will need to get a key, and that's not the easy bit to do, but it is possible, and you can download it and install it, and it will look something like this, as you can see on here. This is the complete legit version of Windows 11 24H2 which is completely debloated and offered by Microsoft. And this is the version I think you should be using instead of using the Windows 11 government edition, which is a fake version of Windows. And it's been obviously tampered with, which you should never, ever use custom ISOs from people that have been created off the Internet. I keep telling people that because of the dangers of it. Now, you may see this here with the Windows Defender, and that's because it's uh, been disabled here. I need to look into a way of re-enabling that if you need Windows Defender enabled. And it may be just the fact that I downloaded this ISO early when it was released and that might have been a bug or something like that. I really don't know. I've not looked into it too much. But again, what I will say is once you get this onto your system, it is pretty lightweight, as you can see here. I'll quickly show you uh, the task manager here. It doesn't have Copilot here. It's all been removed 
by Microsoft. So there's none of this stuff on the system, which is ideal for most people. This is probably what people really want. But it's out there and Microsoft are offering it. But again, I wouldn't advise you to download custom ISOs from people off the Internet or downloading them randomly off of, uh, you know, peer to peer sites, torrenting on places like that, because uh, you just don't know what's embedded inside them. There could be backdoors, malware and key loggers and all sorts of stuff embedded in there. You just wouldn't know. So it's not advisable to use any sort of custom ISO from people off the Internet. If you are going to do one, do one yourself and make it yourself. Or you can use the version from Microsoft, which is intended for uh, people that don't need a lot of bloat on the system. It's unfortunate that Microsoft don't offer this for a home user version where we can download it and use it on our systems rather than having to have an enterprise version. Now, this version of Windows 11 does have a 90 day trial. You will need to activate it. You can't upgrade to this version, so you won't be able to upgrade your old system. You will need to do a fresh install of your computer. There is some settings in here that you still need to turn off. But again, you will need to get a legitimate key to activate this in the proper way. It was really never meant for home users or gaming PCs or anything like that. It was meant for business use. Uh, but again, people are starting to opt to use uh, versions like this rather than using the standard version of Windows 11, which obviously is heavily bloated with loads of telemetry and loads of other applications that they don't want. And again, this is the version that people are leaning towards to use on their main system. So if you do come across videos with Windows 11 Government Edition and you want to get your hands on it and someone is producing a link in the video description, do not download it because it's not a legit version from Microsoft. You are going to end up probably getting yourself infected and also, uh, Microsoft haven't officially released any sort of Windows 11 government edition at all. So they would not release a version of Windows 11 that is pre-activated. That is the giveaway right there, uh, because that's not what Microsoft do. So if you do come across it, leave it well alone and uh, use a proper version like Windows 11 LTSE or Windows 10 LTSE, which are heavily debloated by Microsoft themselves or create your own custom ISO yourself. Because people are so gullible, they will see a super lightweight telemetry free version of Windows 11 and want to get their hands on it because that's exactly what they want. It's highly desirable, but again, it is unfortunately fake. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Hope you're having a lovely week and I will catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.